All right, so let's talk a little bit about the backhand, probably the play that a lot of infielders aren't very confident with. When we're going to field a backhanded play, there's two different types of backhands. One, the, the one that you can get to pretty easily, but you can't get in front of it. And then there's that backhand where you just got to go and it's a it's a do or die type of play. So let's do the one where you, you can get to it, um, but you can't get in front of it. So what, what you're really going to do, the first step is always so important as an infielder. If you have good hands and you have good Good feet the chances are you're gonna be a good infielder so the first step is a good crossover what a lot of infielders like to do is open up with this foot then go but they've really wasted a step and wasted time so we want a good crossover and when we get to that ball we have to stay nice and low stay down on the ball I want to see that ball as, as best I can with my eyes so I really got to get my head low once I get to the ball I come forward with my gloves get my momentum going to the target that I'm going to throw to, one step and a throw. It actually, and when we catch this ball, normally as infielders, we want to catch the ball down here in the pocket. For the backhand, we want to catch it up in the webbing. Reason being, when we try and catch a backhand down in the pocket, a lot of times when you squeeze, the ball's gonna pop out. So we always wanna try and catch the ball in the webbing on a backhand. So let's, let's repeat that real quick. Good crossover step, get to the ball. Once you get there, we're gonna come forward with our feet and make a good strong throw to first base. Now the second backhand, and this is the one, like I said, it's really a do or die play. It's gonna be a tremendous play, or it's probably gonna be a base hit. So once again, we're gonna cross over, a good crossover step. Now, depending on the, how hard the ball is hit or how far the ball is away from you, our angles are gonna be different. So on the one that we can get to, we're just stepping straight across. On the one we gotta get, we gotta take a deeper angle so it gives us time to get to that ball. Once we get to the ball, we're probably going to have to field the ball off our front foot. On the backhand that we could get to, we filled it off our back foot. This one we're going to have to field off our front foot. Once we get to it, we have to come under control as quickly as we can. One step in the throw and get it in the air. And as I said, it's a do or die type of play. It's either going to be a tremendous play for the shortstop or it's going to be a base hit for the, the batter.